you think prices are going to come down? Definitely not the case. There is such a shortage of houses right now that prices have gone up despite everybody singing the blues 9% this year. How, pardon me, 6% this year. How did that happen? It happened simply because of supply and demand. There's a lot of buyers and not enough houses to be, to be available, and that's what rules the market. Do you see prices continuing that move to the upside? I think the prices are going to go through the roof, especially if interest rates come down another point by year end. I think everybody and their mother and their in-laws is going to come out looking for a new house, and the competition is going to be so fierce that house prices will have to go up. So when should people be buying? Right now. But that's always my mantra. It, always the best time to buy. <clears throat> Not because I'm an ex-real estate broker by any means, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm biased in my attitude toward it. But it always is true that the minute you go out in the marketplace, when everybody else is out, you always pay more. Why would you wait for that? Mm. Barbara, the, the, a real driver here when we talk about the pricing of homes, why they have risen so dramatically has been because of inventory, that lack of inventory. Definitely. There has been lots of questions about what it's going to take in order to unlock more inventory, what the ultimate impact is going to be on the housing market. Do you see the inventory picture getting fundamentally better anytime soon? It's gotten a little bit better, maybe to the tune of 4% more inventory a month in the last three months. All right, happy Friday. It is August the 2nd when we are filming this and huge news. It started with Barbara Corcoran talking about this. I just played the intro of hers and she talked about not expecting home buying costs or home prices to go down. Why? Because we have a supply and demand problem, and obviously I've been talking about that for a very long time as well. And here's the thing, is as we have been watching this, we've seen inventory creep up, but we have been telling people there is pent up demand. We have been waiting for one thing to happen. And guess what? It might just be happening right now. Right now. So what happened? This entire week, we have been seeing pressure for rates to come down. Properties have been sitting, investors are getting weary, and they're putting their money back into the bond market. We have seen jobless claims going up, open jobs going up, and today was the big one. So we've seen a steady decline in rates throughout the week, high to mid sixes, and unemployment numbers came out today. We were forecasted at 4.1%, we are at 4.3%, which is huge, huge, huge news for mortgage rates. So. Andrea saw me get into the office this morning right when the report hit and she heard me literally scream from my office because we have been waiting for this for months. So if you have been on the fence, if your clients have been on the fence, rates are on the decline. So Fast. get in touch with us. Let us get a quote put together for you of where they were and what they are now because it really is time to get off the fence and get this process Well, moving. and let's talk about this for a second because if we already know this is what's gonna be happening, right? Like, we are local. I mean, most of my subscribers and people watching this are typically fairly local to Atlanta. Yep. However, wherever you are, what market you're in, here's the thing is like you, if you act first, you have like this little bit of window of time before everybody else catches up because this is gonna be hitting the news super quick. I'm gonna get this video out as soon as possible, like within an hour of us filming this because getting this information into your hands right now matters because you have this slice of time that if you've been on the fence, you have a little bit of negotiating power while there's still a little bit of inventory on there. But trust me, when we're talking about this in mid-August to September, this conversation will have totally changed. Absolutely. I mean, we have been saying that once rates come down, any of those buyers that were on the fence waiting for rates to drop, they're flooding the market. And the little inventory that we had and the little bit of negotiating powers that buyers have right now, it's gonna be gone. We are gonna be back in a feeding frenzy. We are. So let's talk about the local market quickly and give you an update of where we're at so that you can connect with your agent and your local LO. This is Parker. What's your cell phone number? 678-933-4117. And he's amazing. We have been working together for years. I never would put anybody on my videos that wasn't, so reach out to him if you need anything. But new listings in the past week, 2239, I'm sorry, 2339, with a median list price of 425,000. Back on market, 544, with a median list price of 365, 365. Did I just read that right? That's weird. That is weird. I'm sorry. That just like that number is odd. Anyways, um, yeah. It's a big drop. Uh, it's a big drop. Uh, usually the back on markets are the fallout. So that's the ones that need the most amount of repairs. There's usually something happening there. So that's not overly surprising. But yes, it is a big drop. 
especially with the square footage probably being pretty similar as the 4-2 on the new listings. Um, yeah, we should have Parker on here more often. He's, he's good. Um, price drops, 24, 27, four bedrooms, two baths, median on those as well. 405 being the median list price on those expired. We had 834, which has spiked. What's interesting about that, sorry, is like, I can't read that very well. 429, 450 is the median price on those that exited the market. Days on market with those was 91. Withdrawn 529, 440, the median price point on that. Average days on market for those, 51. And then active under contract, 725. Three bedrooms, two baths, median list price, 419. Pending, 1,556. Four bedrooms, two baths, median list price on those is 400. Closed, 1,744. Three bedrooms, two baths, median list price, 402991 median sales price 400 days on market 18 average sales price to list price 99.25 so we're seeing a less than 1% margin of negotiation right now guys with this news i will expect to see that go probably back to 100% sales price to list price and then start slowly eking up over that 100% sales price to list price now, if I'm a seller, does that mean I should hit the market above what <laughs> is reasonable? No, because you're gonna end up in that expired category, in the price reduction category, and you're gonna actually end up with a significant gap between your original sales list price and your actual sales price of way more than 1%. And of those that had the price drops, and there was 2,400 homes that had the price drops, only 55 of those went under contract. That is not good odds. And so pricing, as I say always, is a strategy, not a value. Remember that. And so let this news, if you're on the sales side, drive your sales price up. And if you're a buyer, move, go now, get in the car, call your agent, get out there. All right, y'all have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Thanks, y'all.